Most people say that uh, that it was a really brutal shoot, but you're saying it was not. <laughs> no, it wasn't really. No, I mean, it's, it, it, the weather is what it is out in Calgary. It's very, very cold. I mean, I think um, uh, at times it's cold. It's cold, like you know, Siberia is cold also as well. And to get into the minus thirties, minus forties, minus fifties, and and that's what it is. You know, I think logistically to move a film crew around in very uh, you know arduous circumstances sometimes um, to very specific locations which are off the beaten track logistically made it a very difficult um, piece to put together and, and then we had um, unusual weather um, there for, you know, which I'm sure Leo mentioned to do with climate change and stuff like that maybe. But where, when we needed it to be snowing, you know, God said no, it's going to be, there's going to be a Chinook and we're going to dry, thaw out all the snow and then when we needed it not to be snowing we had, you know, lots and lots of snow and stuff so I mean I, th I think um, that was that was complicated. That was difficult to, to maintain a shoot over you know eight five and then it became eight months and then sort of nine months and you know, but um no it wasn't it wasn't a, a, a hardship shoot you know, by by any sense of imagination. It was just a shoot in the wild. Um, you've got three Oscar contenders coming out. Who? Legend, <laughs> Mad Max, and this movie. Three three movies that have got Oscars written all over them. How do you feel about that? I don't think about things like that. You know. but that's really cool. I'd like to see. You know, it's, it's really lovely that <clears throat> you know movies get recognised in that way. I think that's fantastic. <laughs> um, Leo's, L you and Leo's characters are the are the um, your character and he, Leo's character are the main adversaries of this movie. What are the similarities, though? Uh, do you know what? I, I often thought that um, it's a very uh, interesting uh, tale because it, uh, it's not like an antagonist protagonist situation where there's a villain and then there's a good guy. Certainly not for me. I mean, playing the character Fitzgerald, I always wondered it, what he might have done in the same situation as my character would have done if he was in the same situation as my character. Um, I think you know, there's a. I could justify everything that Fitzgerald does. From a place of you know desperation, but at the same time, you know, somebody who's you know, one might question his morals, but at the same time, who ethical turpitude in a time such as this is you know there wasn't a lot of uh, well, I mean nature was a very brutal place at the time. There wasn't an awful lot of law infrastructure around, and and you know at the same time the situation uh, social politically as well in in, in in America being quite a new country in many aspects and then the First Nation being treated in the way that was was going you know well and um, the, it was very difficult to say who's a good guy and who's a bad guy in this story or whether that's even a point I think it's much more of a tale of human uh, the grey areas of humanity and the human condition in, in some aspects under in, in, in uh, brutal sort of terms as it, as it were under the microscope of what if scenario